Welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. I found this cool little invention out on Etsy and I'm still kind of playing with it, still kind of learning, but I figured I would share it with the viewers out there. Plus, we've got some other cool things going on. Don't forget to like, subscribe, keep sharing. Got some giveaways coming. But first, I'm gonna pop this bad boy open. It is a pumpkin latte from Swamp Head Brewing. Last year, I thought it was okay. And yes, it's white or well, we'll say light colored. It's not dark. You kind of think it's going to be dark. Call it one of the, uh, I think it was something like a white stout. Uh, yep, white stout brewed with spices and espresso roast coffee, pumpkin spice latte. Yeah, I'll put it right there for a second. It smells pretty good. Yeah, I don't remember last year. It was pretty nice. I like it. I'm not going to say it's like, oh my God, but it's nice. Before I jump into this cool little siphon system, I want to make sure I let everybody know, first of all, yeah, uh, I don't know how many hat enthusiasts we have out there, but um, I'm looking to get a few more before Christmas time, and we'll be looking at giving away some cool hats. I'm not a big hat person. I don't like to sweat, and I don't like long hair. <laughs> it drives me nuts. I got to keep it short. It's getting a little long there for a minute. And... Yes, I know, you've seen this book already being given away, but hooked up a nice uh, viewer down in New Zealand. So it's back up for grabs. Project Extreme Brewing, I'll mention a key word towards the end or a key phrase towards the end of the video and all you gotta do is throw it down below. Ed, uh, when we did the unboxing, I can't seem to get a hold of you. You won the first book. Yeah, hopefully you see this video and you go, oh crap, I need to reach out to him. Go to about, you'll find my email, it's all good. Understand, um, not all inventions are great, not all inventions do what they're you know, intended to do, and sometimes they need a little refinement. Um, on this one, I'm not sure if it's the refinement or my learning curve, because I am still learning, I am playing with it. But one of my issues, as you'll see, I don't use these very often unless I'm doing one gallon batches. I'm not a big fan of auto siphons. I like the concept, I like how they work. The problem I don't like is that, which just creates tons of bubbles, seems to produce a lot of air in there, and you know, I don't really want to produce a lot of air and possibly oxygenate my beer. Okay, got this nice, cool little invention from Rob on Etsy. It's called the roller pump. It's kind of cool. I like the concept behind it. I like the general design. I'm still learning how to use it, so we're gonna have some issues here, but it could be me, it could be the device, it could be a little bit of both, but. I love new inventions for home brewing, and this is no exception. Kind of show you here. It's got four spots for screws, and he's already got it where you can put the screws in and they won't stick out. So you can screw it into something. Velcro, strap on the back, you can hold it, you can do whatever. The basic concept is that you're rolling and it's pushing up against the hose and sealing it. So it's sucking the air through and pulling the liquid the problem, and this is where I've got my learning curve, is that if the air and the liquid change hands, I end up, the liquid falls out and the air just keeps going. So it's a little bit of a learning curve and I am trying to figure this out, but you simply do like that. And compared to the auto siphon, I'm like creating all this, you know, bubbles. So still learning. Like I said, it could be a little bit it, it could be a little bit of me, it could be all me, I don't know. Other cool thing is that you then turn this, let me see if I can do this because I didn't understand this part in instructions as well. You literally pivot this and you can pop that up. And as long as one of the rollers is towards the top, now it's flowing. So once you get the siphon going, you pop that up and the liquid will continue to flow. If you want to stop it, you just turn a little bit and the rollers are pushing up against the plastic. It's a type of fiberglass actually, which can tolerate heat, but you push it up like that and it stops. You do like that and it starts flowing again. And I've noticed if I pull the hose up a little bit, I get a little bit better flow a little faster. So it's a cool little latch that's sitting in here. Now, I have noticed that if you aren't careful, this thing will come off track. So you gotta make sure that you're aware that it has a track or groove, should we say. And it is locked back. Neat, I love it. I just think it's a cool concept. That's why I bought one. I bought it because, hey, I thought it was a cool concept and I want to try it out and I'm still playing with it. I'm hoping to use it for one gallon transfers instead of the auto siphon uh, and definitely instead of my 
electric siphon system because you know of course if i'm doing a ton of one gallons i got to clean that whole thing this the only thing i got to clean is a hose i mean super simple the only thing that's going to wear out really from what i'm seeing is the hose <laughs> so i'm not really worried um very cool 3d printed i mean just amazing so so this cool little invention that he made which i was quite impressed with it when i saw it is a manual hand pump one of the problems i'm having with it is i think the hoses are too long for my testing and that's because I don't want to cut the hosing right now because I haven't verified I have replacement hose. I probably do, but I haven't verified it. And I want to make sure I have replacement hose before I start playing around and cutting hose because I want the longer hose so that if I'm doing a five or six gallon to another system, yeah, you see the point why I need a longer hose. What he did say, and he had perfect explanation, is to make sure that the bottom of what you're siphoning is higher than the top of where you're going to. And it's a cool 3D printed thing, and I'll kind of show you some of that. But first, let me just show you the basic principle behind this thing. And this is my part that I have a problem is when I start to put it on here, I start getting air, which defeats the point of the pump. Uh, I've already screwed up. There we go. There. And you just pump it. And once you get it going, it flows problem I have. Oh, I almost forgot. Once you get it going, spin this around and you open it up and it'll just flow. There it's going. And we're pretty much full flow right there. I could always pull the hose up a little, increase the flow. And I do think it needs a little bit of work. Um, it's called the roller pump. It's kind of a cool little invention. I just, it's the way the hose kinks. It seems to reduce the flow. And when I pause or stop, air will go into it if I don't have the hose long enough, as you can see, to go into the liquid. If I'm in the liquid and I pause, it's fine. And you can easily pause by just turning this thing like this. You turn it and I've stopped the flow. It's not flowing anymore because it's pinching the sides of the rollers. If I twist it and pull the roller to the top, it starts to flow again. Very simple concept, very cool little setup. He's got a Velcro strap on the back. I'm not sure if that's to hook on other things or for me to hold on to it. I like the clamp. I did mention to him about the anvil and how the little hook up towards the top for when you're doing recirculation, if you don't have the lid on and you're you know, just wanting to recirculate with the lid off for whatever reason, it would be cool if there was something like that and he's looking into it, but it's just a neat, neat concept. I like it. I'm going to play with it a little more. I might see if there's a, maybe a, a different type of hose I can put in here that maybe doesn't kink as much towards the top so that the flow goes a little faster, but just a very, very novel concept. He's on Etsy. Um, there is some pieces back here too, where you can screw it into something if you wanted to and mount it. It's very versatile. Like I said, I'm not gonna say it's perfect. And he did mention there's a learning curve and I do seem to be getting better and better at it. So it may just all be me, just saying. Um, I will leave a link below if you're curious out there on Etsy so you can check it out. Um, Rob appears to be working with someone else and they're looking to come out with some other cool home brewing type inventions, which I'm always game for anybody who supports the home brewing hobby and home brewing just in general. But pretty neat little thing. Check it out if you get a chance. Nope, I didn't forget the book. So for the book, really easy. We're gonna do a phrase again. Anywhere down below, just put roller pump. The word roller pump, because that's what it is. It's a roller pump. That's the name he gave it. So roller pump. I know you're like, what the hell? It's all good. It's unique and I like that. Okay, now the other issue is I have more water in there than I can put in here. So <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pinch this off. <laughs> 